Porto promises 300 days of sunshine every year. And you can have a wonderful vegan meal on all those lovely sunny days. This is a really special place and every single one of our meals was so good. If you're planning a trip to Porto, it's time to get very excited. After a long bus ride from Lisbon, we finally reached Kind at 3.30. It was a hot day, so we started with an iced latte. They only had a hot latte on their menu, but they customized it for us. We then got a wrap loaded with beans, seitan, lots of salady bits, guacamole, and salsa. I think this wrap was bigger than my face. It was late. We were hungry and cranky after our commute from Lisbon, and this wrap was everything that we needed. The seitan burger looked amazing. It doesn't taste as good as it looks, but it's still a decent burger. We packed a cookie to go, and just look at it. This time it tasted just as epic as it looks. The staff here is so nice to talk to. This place is usually packed, but they are always so kind. For dinner, we went to this rustic place with outdoor seating. We started with the KFC. It was really good, but a bit too salty. This is the only time in Europe that we found something to be oversalted. In a way, we were quite impressed, but we ordered a side of rice just to balance things out. We also got a plate of roasted veggies with sourdough bread. Simple food well made is always such a pleasure. The veggies were flavored with thyme and garlic and the bread was very nice. This was a small meal and we knew that we had to come back here again. Noshi has a warm and welcoming vibe. And the open courtyard at the back was a lovely spot for a breakfast. The vegan toast came with mushroom, spinach, avocado, salsa, mixed seeds and an insane balsamic glaze on top. This dish was so good. Maybe one of the best breakfast toasts of this kind that we have ever had. We also had the vegan oat pancakes with chocolate, peanut butter, walnuts, and fresh fruits. Vidhi loves chocolate and this was like chocolate peanut butter heaven. But sweet treats for breakfast is just not our thing. We actually struggled to finish it. Noshi is not a vegan place, but they have clearly marked vegan options on the menu. If loaded pancakes and toasts are your thing, you should definitely check them out. If you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button. This really helps a small channel like ours to grow. For lunch, we went to Audette, a lovely bakery with a cozy seating section. This meal was extra special because we shared it with Nina and Carlos. We had bumped into them at the walking tour in the morning and it was a cute moment when both couples awkwardly admitted to being vegan. We got a couple of pizzas. They had a homemade charm and tasted nice. The crust and sauce were good. But I would have liked some more cheese. And now, the star of the show and my single favorite thing in Porto, the quiche. This was one of the best quiches I have ever eaten. It had a cheesy mushroom filling and the crust was buttery, flaky perfection. We packed one for our trip to Rekhua the next day and it tasted phenomenal even a day later. Overall, we had a fantastic meal here. For dinner, we ordered in from Utra Especie. The photos are not great, but the food was amazing. The eggplant katsu sandwich had a fusion of Asian and Portuguese flavors. It was divine. The pita with tofamus was nourishing and comforting. We'd highly recommend this place. The next morning, we took a bus to Rekhua in the Douro Valley. The drive was beautiful, and after soaking up the beautiful views, we started to look for a lunch spot. Rekhua had only one restaurant with well-reviewed vegan options, but it was shut. We finally ended up at Aneto, which, according to Google, had some vegan options. We ended up ordering everything on their menu that was vegan, which was basically just three dishes. We started with a lovely green pea soup. It looked great and it was herbalicious. The second dish was the potato wedges. You can never go wrong with deep fried potatoes. 
Every region of every country we have ever visited has some version of it and it's always great. The main dish was stuffed portobello mushroom with ratatouille in tomato sauce. It was delicious and very nourishing. This really shows that even in a remote town, you can manage to get some great vegan options. Our expectations were super low when we found out that the restaurant we wanted to visit was shut. And this is exactly when the potential to enjoy your meal goes up. The low expectations gave way to surprise and then to delight. All three dishes were great and as usual, the service was so kind and friendly. For our last meal, we returned to the place where we had our first meal. We had loved their bean and seitan wrap, so this time we ordered a falafel one. The wrap was good. It had a lot of salady bits and hummus, but the falafel was a bit dry and under seasoned. And of course, our last dish in Portugal had to be a francesinha. This francesinha had their in-house seitan, beyond sausage, aubergine and zucchini. As usual, it was wrapped up in cheese before a hot tomato sauce was poured over it to melt the cheese. We also packed a slice of their apple cinnamon cake for our flight the next morning. The cake was so good. We loved both our meals at Kain. There was something remarkable about our meals in Porto. Everything here is connected by incredible public transportation and it's such a gorgeous city. If you are planning a trip to Porto, it's time to get very excited. We plan to make a new video every week, so please subscribe if you like this video. It sends a signal to the YouTube gods that we are worth promoting.